Hello my dear children. I hope all of you are fit and fine. Children, we have finished our syllabus for SEM 1 in EVS. So now we are going to revise the chapters. And today we are going to revise chapter number 1. Who will do this in this revision session? So children, let's begin this session. Chapter 1 who will do this? Revision session. My dear children, we will revise the entire chapter in this revision session. Now, let's see what are the topics that we will cover. First of all, primary duties. Then, proper drainage system. Personal hygiene. Public properties and their maintenance environment preservation air water and noise pollution and prevention and how to save water and electricity so children let's begin this revision session primary duties children we get Many facilities where we live or reside. To preserve and maintain them is our moral duty, isn't it? We must use all the amenities like water, electricity, fuel, etc. wisely and rationally. Children, our primary duties are to maintain cleanliness in the surroundings, to save water, to save electricity, to preserve the environment and also to maintain streets and other public properties. Proper drainage system. Children, an effective drainage system is the one that removes all excess water without causing problems. Sometimes we see a lot of water collected at various places. So an effective drainage system has to remove all that excess water. There are both closed and open drains. In different areas, closed drains are used to dispose of sanitary waste. Children, open drain is mostly used to collect waste water that is not sewage, that is like rain water. Now children, think that why should we use a dustbin? Dear children, using a dustbin is an effective way of keeping our environment clean. It reduces the spread of diseases. And children, garbage can be recycled from it. Also, a dustbin enhances the beauty of the surroundings. Children, in cities, we all have Toilets in our homes. But in many villages still there are no toilets in the houses. Which is very unhygienic. Isn't it? So now let's see why we should use a toilet. Using a toilet prevents the spread of germs into the environment. Children, it protects the health of the community. It provides privacy and safety to the people. And children, it provides hygienic disposal of dirt. Children, we all know importance of washing hands. It is an integral part of our personal hygiene. Why? Because Washing our hands prevents the spread 
of bacteria and viruses. Washing hands keeps yourself and others healthy and also it prevents spread of diseases like influenza, food poisoning, coronavirus, etc. Children, what is a public property? A public property is a property that is dedicated for public use. Children, these facilities are not owned by any individual but they are used by everyone. Facilities or properties like parks, playgrounds, streets, roads, sidewalks, schools and libraries are public properties. Okay? Children, these are few pictures of public properties like roads, school and a railway station. Okay children, now think that why we should take care of public properties. Children, as good citizens, it is our duty to use public properties as carefully as we use our own things. We have no right to destroy public properties as it is something which we own collectively. Environment Preservation Children, do you know what is environment preservation? It means protection of the natural environment. Environment preservation aims at keeping the nature safe and healthy. For all of us to live a safe and healthy life. Okay children, now let us see how we can preserve our environment. We should plant more trees. We should save water, energy and fuel. Recycle and reduce our consumption. We should reduce the use of cars and take public transport whenever possible. Also, we should avoid wastage of things. Okay children, now observe this picture. By looking at it, we can make out that now we are going to discuss what is air pollution. Air pollution. Children, air pollution is contamination of air or our atmosphere due to the presence of gases, fumes, dust particles and other harmful substances. These gases, fumes, dust particles are called pollutants. These pollutants make the air harmful or unhealthy for all living beings. Children, following are the ways to prevent air pollution. We should grow more and more trees. We should save energy and use solar and wind energy. Recycle and buy recycled products. Walk, do carpool or use public transport and smoke emission from factories and vehicles should be within the permissible range. By this picture itself, now children, you can make out that we are going to discuss about water pollution. Water pollution. Children, water pollution 
is one of the biggest challenge nowadays but what is water pollution it is the contamination or pollution of water bodies like lakes rivers ponds oceans etc water pollution occurs when pollutants are directly or indirectly discharged into these water bodies children now let's see what are the ways to prevent water pollution we should avoid dumping of trash into water systems water reserves should not be used for washing clothes and bathing of animals also we should recycle and reuse the water and proper treatment of sewage and waste water management now we will discuss about noise pollution what is noise pollution children noise pollution is the disturbing or excessive noise that may harm the activities or balance of human or animal life mostly the outdoor noise is caused by machines transportation systems motor vehicles trains etc children noise pollution can cause irritation anxiety and stress children let's see how we can prevent noise pollution honking near schools hospitals etc should be banned dense tree cover prevents noise pollution buildings can be designed with suitable noise absorbing systems and also use of ear plugs can reduce noise pollution children as you know that saving water is very important here are some ways by which we can save water turn the water taps off when not in use use less water when doing laundry and washing dishes check for any leakage in pipes save the rain water and recycle and reuse water how we can save electricity following are few ways by which we can save electricity turn off lights and fans when not in use use natural resources of light use solar cooker for cooking food install solar panels for generating electricity and use energy saving electric devices so children here we have come to the end of this revision session i hope you revised it well please solve the worksheets and the revision worksheets also learn all the question and answers and read the lesson thoroughly okay children thank you and take care